Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I This is going to be part three of star or stars in the Bible. I believe this will be the last part. So please turn your King James Bible to 2 Peter chapter 1. And there are people will tell you that 2 Peter doesn't belong in the Bible. Believe it or not. So they know more than the Greek church that uh, decided that it does belong in the Bible. So... Let's take a look. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 1. Simon Peter, and a, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Does this sound fake? Some people say it is. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust now there's different types of lust obviously there's sexual lust but people lust after a number of things. Some lust after power. Some lust after possessions. So, verse 5. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge. And to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. Now, this word charity in the Greek is translated in two different ways. If a man said that he loved his wife, there is some of the same wording as charity. If you have love, you will have charity. And if you have charity, it will show forth love. So sometimes it's translated either way. But, you know, some people say, oh, that's mistranslation. I don't think so. You know, if, if you show kindness and charity to people, that shows forth love. But, hey, what do I know? Verse 8. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that shall, that ye shall be neither, that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind, spiritually blind, right? And cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Hmm... 
Calling an election, sure. Boy, there's people that absolutely will rail against election. Unless, of course, you're talking about the you-know-whos in the Middle East who reject Jesus. Oh, well, that's those are the elect. Those are, those, they have been chosen. Uh, chosen for what? Yeah. But there's absolutely people that hate that God calls and elects or has a, a picks people. They absolutely hate that. You know, and think about it. What happens in an election? In a political election? Well, it used to be in the old days, the people would vote and elect or choose or pick a candidate course today i don't think it really matters everything's electronic and we don't know yeah i think it's all fraud and fake anyways but hey probably has been for many years god calls god elects give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things ye shall never fail for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our lord and savior jesus christ wherefore i will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things though ye know them and be established in the present truth yeah, yeah, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle. What tabernacle? The tabernacle of flesh, his body, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Lord Jesus Christ hath showed me. See, Peter knew that one day he would die verse 15 moreover i will endeavor that ye may be able after my decease decease yeah you ever heard of oh uh instead of saying dead they say oh well he's deceased that ye may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance listen to this carefully for we have not followed cunningly devised fables. Hmm. Are we following cunningly, cunningly devised fables? When we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Yeah, they saw the power of Christ doing all the miracles, and they saw him in his resurrected body. But were eyewitnesses of his majesty, for he received from God the Father honor and glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Now that happened at the transfiguration. Peter was there on the mountain. A voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word, word, a more sure wood of prophecy, wherein too ye do well that ye take heed. Yeah, you'll do well if you heed, take heed, and pay attention and listen. As unto a light, a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star. Oh, this is, so that's why I'm reading this, because the day star, oh yeah. 
as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. What is a day star? What is that? How can that arise in your hearts? Well, obviously, it's not a burning star up in the sky because it would burn your heart out, right? So it must be a spiritual star. Well, what star is that? Well, I certainly don't think it's the uh, angel of light, that's for sure. Now, what other star is there? Let's take a look. Well, let's skip over real quick to Revelation chapter 22. I guess we'll start in verse uh, 13, I guess. Jesus speaking, I am Alpha and Omega. What is Alpha? Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. That's where you get the word, uh, where we get the, you know, letters uh, in the English, letters like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Alpha, bet, Alpha, beta. The first two letters of the Greek alphabet. They even named the alphabet after the Greek. You know, used to be when you'd go to university, you learned Greek and you'd learn Latin. But they had to get rid of that because uh, certain groups of people, you know, equal opportunity, uh, couldn't handle the curriculum. I mean, in the 40s and the 50s, you had they had tests to get into university. And if you couldn't score above a certain amount, you didn't get in, period. And then they kept some of the tests, but if you marked a certain uh, racial group box on the test, they would add points to your uh, score. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a, I think it was a boy, I'm not sure, boy or girl, whatever. They were... Uh, Caucasian and they clicked the wrong box they well they marked the wrong box and said that they were of a darker thing well they got a better than a perfect score how do you get better than a perfect score you know 100 percent is 100 percent how do you get 107 percent they added points for being a certain racial group and that was in the news and they actually uh the college gave them a scholarship and then when they showed up they said oh wait a minute you're not what we were looking for and they told them no we're not going to honor the scholarship and then they got sued and it was in the paper i remember reading that you know um uh, certain racial groups need not apply you know diversity yeah, yeah. So, you know, Greek, very important. You'd be surprised how many Greek words are in the English language. You'd be surprised. Jesus speaking, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I'm a Al Omega is the last letter in the Greek alphabet. So, Alpha, the first, Omega, the last. I'm A to Z, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. What commandments? Well, I think the two commandments. Jesus said, uh, love the Lord and love thy neighbor. On these two hang all the law and the prophets. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city what city new jerusalem for without you know outside for without are dogs and sorcerers uh people that practice harry potter yeah and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie uh, 
those are outside they they don't make it in well not without Christ anyways verse 16 here's the day star I Jesus have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches I am the root and offspring of David how can David how can Christ be the root of David and the offspring of David well Christ created all things yeah so he was the root of Adam who eventually led to Judah which eventually led to King David but he was also born of the line of David yeah believe it or not so Christ is the root and offspring of David and listen carefully and the bright and morning star and I think this is the day star that Peter was talking about here because if you got a star that appears in the morning isn't that the beginning of the day oh yeah so wouldn't that be a day star I think so I don't think I'm wrong but you know some people some people will argue just to argue which is fine I don't I don't have it all figured out if I ever get it all figured out I'll let you know but uh, don't be holding your breath because you know what the uh, apostles asked Jesus when he was going to return and he said he didn't know he said he didn't know the angels in heaven didn't know only God the Father so if there's things Christ doesn't know if there's something that Christ doesn't know um, yeah I don't I don't think I got it all figured out either all right so I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star Let's go back to second peter number second peter chapter 1 and verse 19 we have a more sure word sure wood word why do i keep saying sure wood we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place well that's Christ the light of the world right until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts yep you better have that morning star in your heart the day star my suggestion knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man you know uh ezekiel and and isaiah and moses and you know those guys did they was it by their will that prophecy came no for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost yep there you go all right let's go to the book of Jude the Beatles even did a song called hey Jude yeah no connection there but yeah if you remember that you're old like me Jude chapter 1 verse 1 well there's only one chapter in Jude so pretty easy if you don't know where Jude is it's uh, towards the end of the Bible just before the book of Revelation verse 1 Jude the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James if memory serves me correctly uh, this guy had a mother named Mary and a father named Joseph yeah he grew up with a guy named Jesus Jude the servant of Jesus 
Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. You want to make, you know, make your calling and election sure, Peter said. And and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Yeah, you don't want to just add it. You don't want to addition. You want it multiplied. Well, preferably more than multiplied by one. But yeah, you get the idea. Beloved, when I gave you all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Boy, I'll tell you what, we don't have very much of that nowadays, do we? No. Listen to this carefully. Verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. What is lasciviousness? Evil and wickedness. There are people that turn the grace of God into wickedness. Well, how do they do that, Chaplain Bob? Well, there are people that will tell you that the grace of Christ covers all sin. Well, it can, but the Bible tells you Jesus said to repent, and he wants us to turn from our sin. He doesn't want us to, well, let's just say you were a hit man for the mafia, and then you came to the Lord. Are you going to keep your old job, or are you going to find a new line of work? There's people who will tell you, oh, well, it doesn't matter. You, you know, as long as you believe in Jesus, you can keep your old job. You, you know, being a hitman for the mafia pays pretty good, you know? Yeah. So keep your old job. Don't worry about it. Yeah. There are people that will tell, turn the grace of Christ into a license to sin. Believe it or not. Does that mean when you believe that, you know, you're going to be perfectly sinless? No, probably not. But we should strive. We should strive to be as righteous as possible. But that's a whole other Bible study. I think I've covered that. For there are certain men crept in unawares. See, people didn't know. These people crept into the church unaware people people in the church were unaware that these evil men crept in who were before of old condemned uh, ordained to this condemnation yeah these are the the fallen star seed ungodly men turning the grace of our god into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. You know what happens when you deny Christ? You are an antichrist. Oh, okay, are you getting an idea of who these people are? Yeah. Verse 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, Afterward, destroyed them that believe not. You know, when the Lord took Israel out of Egypt, there were those that all they did was complain and, and they were disobedient. And the Lord had a belly full and wiped out a whole bunch of them. Uh, you can read about that in the, uh, the book of Exodus. Listen to this carefully. People that don't believe 
uh, what the, who, who don't know what the sin of the fallen angels are once they were cast out of heaven. Now, before the angels were cast out of heaven, it was because there was a war in heaven. They tried to kill God and his angels. Um, that plan didn't work very well. Uh, so they were cast out of heaven, came to earth. But then they tried plan B. So let's take a look at what their plan B was. All right, verse 6. And the angels, so the angels are the subject here. And the angels which kept not their first estate. What was their first estate? Heaven. But left their own habitation. Yeah, they left heaven. He, God, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Hmm. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. Did you, uh, did you see the uh, subject change here? No. I, I didn't see that. They were talking about angels. And I think they're still talking about angels. Did, did the fallen angels teach mankind about how to do the things that the, those of Sodom and Gomorrah did? Or did they practice it with each other? Or, uh, you know, I don't know. But why are they talking about angels and then they're talking about Sodom and Gomorrah? There's a connection there somewhere. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. Hmm. Well, they were talking about angels here. And there's people who say, oh, angels can't have sex. Angels can't have sex. And they'll always quote that, that verse that, uh, let's see, let me show it to you. All right, in Matthew 22 and verse 23, the same day came to him the Sadducees. The Sadducees were a denomination of the Jews. And... They only accepted the first five books of Moses, which is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. If it wasn't in those books, they don't believe it. The same day came to him, Jesus, the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection. And that's why they were sad, you see, because there's no resurrection. You know, this world, that's it to them, that this world, this is it. And when you die, that's it. You're gone. No more. Nothing to look forward to in the next life. So, so, the Sadducees come to Jesus, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed or children unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, he died, and having no issue, no children, uh, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. And I can almost hear the sarcasm in their voice. Verse 28. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err. That's where you get the word error, error from. E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. Ye do err. You're, you're, you guys got it all wrong. You're in error. Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures. So not only do you not know the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection... 
For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage. See, see, right there. But are as the angels of God. See, angels don't have sex. Oh, wait a minute. There's two more words to the sentence. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. In heaven. Did you know there's angels of God in heaven? And there's angels of the devon, devil that are not in heaven. They were cast out to the earth. Jesus said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And some people say, oh, well, that's in the future, but I disagree. See, if you leave out one word, it can totally make a sentence mean the opposite of what it means. Hey, uh, you know that money I borrowed from you last week? I'll pay you on Friday. I will not pay you on Friday. One word makes a sentence the opposite of what it means. And they always leave out those two last words. In the resurrection, they don't marry or given a marriage, but are the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have you not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob? God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Mm. Back to Jude, verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains unto darkness, unto the judgment of the great day, even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh. What is strange flesh? Well, a man with a woman, that's not strange flesh, is it? Is this referring to using the wrong entrance, or is this talking about the sons of God of Genesis 6, the fallen angels, marrying with the women? Or is it both? I, it could be both. But they are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. They defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. What is dominion? It means having rulership. You ever heard of domination you know oh uh you know that uh, sports team dominated the other team uh, the score was 52 to nothing well that's what dominion means and they speak evil of dignities they speak evil of god's rulers hmm listen Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. I did a study on why the devil was arguing about the body of Moses, if you're interested. But these, these evil ones, speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things, they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. What did Cain do? First murderer. And ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward. What was Balaam? Balaam was actually a prophet of the Lord. But uh, they gave him a nice bribe, and he tried to curse Israel. 
Yeah. But he didn't do it, but he taught Balak, the enemy of the Lord and the enemy of Israel, how to make the uh, Israel anger, uh, how, to, how to use Israel to anger the Lord so that the Lord would punish Israel. He um, taught them to send the satanic women in and get the guys to, uh, you get the idea, yeah. And then the Lord would bring judgment. And they ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of Cory. Who was Cory? Um, he was one of the priests and he opposed Moses. I mean, God picked Moses, God used Moses, and then Korah, Cory um, tried to take Moses' leadership away in opposition to the Lord. And the Lord uh, wasn't too happy about that. And uh, Korah, Korah and his family were, um, let's just say they fell into a hole. The earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up. Gulp. Gone. Verse 12. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. That's the problem with today's church. These devils feed themselves without any fear at all because the church tolerates evil and wickedness. Clouds they are without water. What good is a cloud without rain? It's useless. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead. What do you mean twice dead? Dead physically and dead spiritually. You ever read the expression in uh, Revelation? It says Babylon is fallen, is fallen. Babylon fell physically. The city was destroyed. But then it fell spiritually. When you see in the Bible, like Jeremiah, it talks about double destruction. Destruction of the body, destruction of the soul and the spirit. Twice dead plucked up by the roots that's dangerous people twice dead that's that's to me that's scary raging waves of the sea foaming out their own shame wandering stars wandering stars what was the uh what was the subject here again angels yeah angels the fallen ones did, when we were reading this, did the subject change? I, I just don't see it. Wandering stars. To whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Wandering stars. You know, when the Lord tells his angels to go somewhere and do something, they didn't do it. They were wandering stars, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. They made hard speeches with these ungodly sinners have spoken against the Lord. These are murmurers, complainers, God hates people that complain. If the Lord gives you something, be happy for what he gives you. 
You know, hey, I, I wouldn't mind having a, a condo on the beach or mansion, you know, but not in this world. Uh-uh. I don't think it's going to ever happen, but these are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speak speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. You ever known people that were born with advantage you know oh he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth you know family had m money right got into harvard became a lawyer i uh, you know harvard used to be a, do you know harvard was originally started as a bible college really it was harvard was originally a bible college and guess what their textbook was um the bible wow yeah including their law school the bible yeah because the bible is a book of law today they have a a uh, antichrist president and harvard actually has a class on anal sex seems like it fits right into what jude's talking about here doesn't it yeah can you imagine that of course it's an elective but uh can you imagine that oh yeah i went to harvard school uh university uh what'd you major in uh yeah let's not go there but beloved remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our lord jesus christ verse 18 how that they told you that there would be mockers in the last time. Are there mockers today? Oh, yeah. Who should walk after their own ungodly lusts? These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. You know, people, when you are around your old friends and you come to the Lord and you start talking about Jesus Christ and the Bible and holiness and godliness they're going to separate from you you don't have to separate from them they're going to separate from you i know this firsthand verse 20 but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost keep yourselves in the love of god looking for the mercy of our lord jesus christ unto eternal life and of some, have compassion. Very important for us to have compassion. Making a difference. And others, save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. You know what? We're supposed to save others with fear, helping pull them out of the flames of hell. And hating even this fleshly body the flesh wars against the spirit and we all have that some of us more than others verse 24 now unto him that is able to keep you from falling who is he that is able to keep you from falling christ jesus and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Well, I lied. I'm going to make uh, Revelation part four. We've already gone 45 minutes and eh, I got a couple things to do. And it takes time to convert this from an audio to a video. You know, there's a lot of time involved in doing these, believe it or not. Well, not a lot, a lot of time, but, you know, I got to do a little research. I got to make it, do the audio, then I got to do convert it to a video, and then I got to load it to YouTube and any other place where I load it. And then hope uh, helps make a difference in somebody's life. 
which I hope it does, you know. I don't do this for my health, but, um, and I sure don't do this for money, but uh, those of you that have helped me in the past, thank you very much. Um, you know, I had to buy my own computer and I had to buy my own microphone and uh, programs to do all this kind of stuff sometimes, you know, antivirus for the computer and what have you, you know, it's, it's, you know, but it's all right. I mean, if I wasn't buying this stuff, hey, I could still be buying, uh, you know, having a beer. But I, I think I enjoy this much, much more than uh, my drinking buddy days. So, yeah. And by the way, I am, I do have a channel on Odyssey. So, uh, if I ever get deleted off YouTube, I will probably hang out on Odyssey. And I also have a thing on Telegram, which I'm starting to, to do. So, I don't know. Everybody's telling me how great Telegram is. But, uh, you know, when I'm loading to, I was loading to World Truth. I was loading to uh, YouTube. I was loading to Gab. Uh I just, you know, stretched really thin, but uh, Gab is extremely, seems extremely unfruitful. So, alrighty, well, enough about me. You know, I ain't going to do this until either they kill me or haul me off to prison. Or maybe not exactly in that order, but uh, yeah. But all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.